I'm NASA Kennedy's Brittany Thorpe, outside KSC, taking you inside KSC. Two critical segments of the solid rocket boosters for NASA's Space Launch System, or SLS rocket, were moved from the booster fabrication facility to the rotation, processing, and surge facility at Kennedy Space Center this week. The aft skirts were refurbished at the center. They house the thrust vector control system, which controls 70% of the steering during initial ascent of the SLS rocket. This move represents an important milestone towards the first launch of NASA's Artemis program. The aft skirts will remain in the RPSF until ready for stacking with the forward and aft parts of the booster on the mobile launcher in high bay three of the vehicle assembly building. NASA is working to land the first woman and next man on the moon by 2024. SLS, along with NASA's Orion spacecraft, the human landing system, and the gateway in orbit around the moon are NASA's backbone for deep space exploration. Kennedy Space Center Director Bob Cabana, Deputy Director Janet Petro, and KSC Chief Medical Officer David Tipton participated in a virtual town hall meeting for the center's workforce on Wednesday. They addressed the center's return to site plan and answered questions from the workforce. The plan includes a phased approach of returning to work and addresses topics such as gating criteria, center access, work control, health and safety, center services, meetings and events, and travel. For more on Inside KSC, check us out on social media at nasa.gov Kennedy.